Honda Africa Twin is a motorcycle legend. Back in the 80s and early 90s, it became the template for what adventure bikes should be. Today, the Africa Twin enters a more sophisticated adventure bike landscape, with the market dominated by the all-conquering BMW R1200GS. Time to find out if this hugely anticipated rival has been worth the wait. The styling, the paint scheme, even the nameplate graphics, they all help evoke memories of the previous generation Africa Twins, although this one is a very different proposition. For starters, the CRF model designation replaces the XRV tags of all because it's no longer a V-twin. Instead, nestled low in this frame is a 998cc parallel twin that develops 94 brake horsepower and 72 pounds-foot of torque. Like all great adventure bikes, the instrumentation is very clearly laid out with enough space for a satellite navigation. The riding position is tall yet roomy, but unlike other rivals like the BMW R1200GS or Triumph Tiger Explorer, this one feels noticeably slimmer, lighter, more manageable. And physically, that's gonna help you feel more comfortable when you do take this bike off-road, which given the spec of this thing, Honda has every intention that you're going to do that. There are spoked wheels with tube tires, two-channel ABS that allows you to fully disengage the rear, three-stage traction control, fully adjustable upside-down front forks and rear shock, handguards, and even a high-mounted exhaust, which admittedly does eat into the space of that right-hand pannier. That said, the optional top box and left pannier have more than enough space to carry a full-face helmet, and quite handily, they all can be locked using the same key that's used to start the bike. Other optional equipment includes front fog lamps and crash bars, heated grips, 12 volt connectors, a center stand and a taller touring screen, all of which we'd recommend picking if you were planning the ultimate road trip. This is also the first bike in its class to be offered with the option of either a six speed manual gearbox or a dual clutch transmission, which is the bike we've got on test here. And it replaces that traditional clutch lever for a parking brake. So the Africa Twin simply behaves like a giant twist and go automatic. Although you still can have a bit of fun toggling through the gears using these thumb and forefinger operated buttons. Adventure bikes need to be all things to all men and women, so while they need to have great throttle control and ground clearance to tackle off-road, they also need to have great on-road manners and be able to take a pillion comfortably. And it's this duality that Honda has totally nailed with the Africa Twin. Whereas some big adventure bikes feel a little bit unwieldy when you stick to just asphalt, this one feels right at home. You've got great wind protection, wide bars and a very naturally comfortable riding position. It's very easy to be smooth and progressive. It doesn't quite have that level of high speed refinement that you get on a BMW GS. At motorway speeds, it's less eager to overtake and the front wheel can get a little bit vague and flighty. But at the same time, it doesn't have the bulk of the GS. It's lighter, it feels more nimble, quicker to respond to your inputs, easier to filter through traffic. The turning circle's great. I really love this DCT gearbox too. Everything you throw at it, it just seems to respond and react seamlessly, whether in town, off road, on motorway. The shifts are just so quick. Even if you go for a manual six speed option, shifting cogs on your own accord is just buttery smooth. Everything about this bike just feels so thoroughly engineered. The Honda Africa Twin is a genuine dual purpose adventure bike that's high quality, great value and incredibly capable. If you're after a motorcycle that can blend the go anywhere ability of an off-roader, the comfort of a tourer and the ease and agility of a commuter, then this is as good as it gets.
If you enjoyed watching this video, please click the button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can leave us your comments and let us know what you think.